So hello guys, welcome back to Get to Bed YouTube channel once again. I hope you all are doing well and working good. So in the last couple of videos, I have started with the microcontroller coding on new microcontroller that is on NXPS32 K144. And for that, we have first of all started with understanding and getting to know the ID that we will be using for programming and developing the code on this microcontroller. So the ID that we have started with is the S32 Design Studio ID which is powered and uh, given by NXP semiconductors only, especially for S32 automotive or microcontrollers. And in the last couple of videos, we have get to know that how to install this software, how to install the microcontroller development package and RTD for this for, on this IDE, and then how to create a project on this IDE so as to make the project for a corresponding microcontroller. Now in this video, we are going to understand and explore the another very important feature of this ID that is code configuration and generation tools which are used for configuring the microcontroller peripherals, pins and uh, configuring its clock via GUI interface without writing any code. So it makes very easy for us to start with the code and then dwell into the inner details and the working of the microcontroller. So now in this video we are going to export this feature only. So now without wasting time let's get started. So guys, before starting with the video, I would like to make you people aware about the very important and useful resource for you guys on this IDE for getting to know about this IDE. On the get to my website, I have written a set of articles on getting started with a study to design studio IDE. And I have divided those articles in three parts, getting started part one, part two, part three. Now the objective of this video, that is to know about the code configuration tool and understanding how to use it. I have written a very well conclusive and in detail blog on my website. So you guys can also refer to that in which I have told step by step about all the tools which are there for code configuration, how to use them, what does all icons and what does all the menu bars does in mean and uh, what does the mean and how to do those things. So people can also refer to this blog for those who are much more into reading the uh, articles, blogs and those things instead of watching the video. So now, yeah, and I would also be using this blog as a reference for making you people understand in the video about this study design studio ID. So now as we open the study design studio ID, these are the steps which I have done till the last video. Now for after uh, following on those steps only, first of all, we are going to understand that how do we open the code configuration and generation tool window? What is it and how, to, how do we open it? So first of all, telling you about how, what it, uh, like how to open it. So if for opening the code the configuration generation tool, you need to be have two things already installed and done in your uh, system. ID should be installed. It's micro corresponding microcontroller development package and SDK files should be downloaded and some project should be created on your project explorer and it should be compiling with zero errors in, and it's, a, it's, it's just a project should be open and imported to your project explorer in your design studio ID. Okay, if these steps are not done, so you can refer to the first couple of first and second video on my get to my YouTube channel uh, on the design studio ID, I would be giving the link in the description or you can also refer to the part one block of the code con of this design studio ID that is this one so, studio installation and software project creation I still get project installation okay so now in the ID I am assuming that you have done all such steps now when you click on a project click on this icon open s32 configuration tools so that's how you are going to open the s32 configuration tool uh, for in your ID if you have not downloaded any of the development package corresponding microcontroller development package, then in the window, it would be showing an error like this to you, right? Error during opening configuration test suit, processor, this, this is not very version is not supported by current version of the tool. This means that you have not downloaded the SDK or the microcontroller development package. And because of that reason, your SDK design studio tool would not be opening. And if it windows not show it is loading, it is showing you the operation in progress then just wait for a couple of seconds, for a couple of minutes and it will load up the window. 
so after loading it would show you like this so it means you have opened your study to configuration tools and the configuration generation tools and that's the first step of your video and of your objective is completed that is you have opened the code configuration tool tools and the window so now and first of all understand the menu configuration tool okay and then we will get into what are the different tools and what are the different views and ways uh, what are the different uh, things that we can configure so starting from here these are the set of three icons for creating a new project as you can see here, over here this is for saving like you do any changes over here so corresponding to it it will uh, be your you can save your project from here save and save as okay this is for building all the your whatever changes you have done and now you need to see that you can you able to build your project so that's the icon for it for directly building the project from over here so these first set of four icons are just like generic ones nothing very much specific to code configuration generation tool these are available without uh, opening this uh, code configuration generation tool also this is very important part of the type uh, toolbar menu bar because here you can select the project out of all the projects that you have put in your project explorer so right like right now i have opened four projects in my project explorer as you can see over here first project hello world rfid module and oled ssd1306 so when you click on the code configuration tool icon again so over the window which is shown over here we will be selecting the project that we need to use for gen for the uh, for generating for uh, for for the generation for configuring okay this one is the configuration tools overview clicking on this icon it will show you all the tools which are available for the corresponding project or you can say for the corresponding microcontroller because a project would be concentric to some microcontroller s32 microcontroller so in this window window you can see we can see all the tools that we can use for configuring the s32 k144 microcontroller projects okay and in the bottom of it you can see tools not supported for this selected processor dcd ivd quad spi ddr now in the s32 design studio uh, configuration tools there are many tools okay and certain to these tools are dependent upon the microcontroller features so like s32 k144 don't have any quad spi peripheral so we can't use that uh, tool because if that feature is not present in controller how we can configure for that feature dcd is a kind of memory k144 don't have that memory so we can't use that tool DDR, sorry, DDR is the memory, not D DCD. IBT and DCD are the certain kind of memory regions for some advanced security and features. And these are not present in K144 microcontroller. These are present in K3 microcontrollers, S32 K3. So these set of four tools are not there in K144. But clock configuration, peripheral configuration of K144 microcontroller, pins configuration, these all are present in K144. So there are corresponding tools for doing all such things. Okay. So using this button, using the home button, you can open this code configuration tool overview window. Okay. And also another thing is that you can get to know about the, your project. What is the hardware configuration? What is the packaging size that you have selected for your project of the microcontroller? Which processor is it? Which SDK is it? Okay. Project name, project tool chain, all such, all the information about the basic and important generation about your project and the hardware information of your project. You can get to know from this this one is the show problems view if you do any configurations in the tools and if you do any uh, non-acceptable values or if you do any wrong uh, configurations like let's say if i just for you showing your demonstration purpose in the clock if i do this configuration there is a one configuration by which we can uh, then it will show you all the errors that can be over okay like you just see over here okay So if I select this as system clock oscillator, so it would select the system clock oscillator and now you will be able to see over here that it will become red. Uh, does it become red? It should become red. So now after this uh, home icon, this is the problems icon. Over, clicking on it, you can open the problems view window. 
over which we can see all the pro errors, problems that we might come across during the configuration. So let's say if you have done any wrong configuration and that are out of the bound values or those are invalid. So over the problems view, we will be able to see what issue is it and in this tool it is and what is the level and warning is it is a problem error is it. So this is a very important and view for debugging out the things when we are doing the configurations and when we are not able to get okay whether we are doing right or wrong. Ahead of it is the update code icon. This is the uh, icon on which uh, what whatever configuration that we do like this is the code configuration tool. So configuration of certain features, enable or disablement of some features, peripherals or some setting some values. So accordingly, there is a changes in our code, in our .c and .x files. As you can see over here, our pingbox.c.x files are changed and by clicking on it, you can see that what all of the code would be changed and what all code is the newly generated would be there and what was the, what is the actual So as I have told you now, that this is the tool by using on this thing, we can generate the code, write the code, we can do the configuration without writing any code because automatically all the basic initialization in the code is automatically generated or written by the code configuration tool. Okay, so we can get to know what all files and code is being changed by using the update code icon and clicking on the OK will update our icon. Also in the update code, if you have done any clock configuration and it shows any errors. So on the that corresponding module or the peripheral, it will tell you what error it is and how you can correct it. So it should gives you all full detail overview and uh, insight of what all configuration you have done, what all configuration, the configuration that you have done, what all impact does it going to have on the code. And if there are any wrong configurations and how you can correct them and what are the possible and uh, limit values. So, and uh, then, uh, yeah, uh, they, only these are the important icons for us in the toolbar. Or uh, another set of toolbar icons that are also important are this, uh, is this one. Okay, manage SDK components. So clicking on it, it will open a window in which it will show you that what all uh, SDK components, like the SDK is we have downloaded in the previous video. Now, within the SDK, there are many sub modules. There is a free Artos OS module, peripheral module, ADC, peripheral PAL, HL module, then the customer or some, uh, the app, the, these, MCAB, MCAB is a motor control algorithm, like these are some application based libraries and folders, and these are some drivers of external sensors and modules. So it gives you a whole overview that, okay, in your SDK that you have downloaded, what are sub modules is, do you have, and what server modules you can use. And then using these icons, you can configure them and see them also. Okay, and uh, yeah, clicking on it, okay, will make the things just by the, the, con the configured according to the settings that you have over here. Then another is one is the, yeah, like, yeah, these are the only important icons in the toolbar. Then now we are going to get into the understanding of the tools, different tools. Now these icons would be commonly used during our project configuration and generations. So now in the next video, I'm going to tell you about what are tools or are there in our this code configuration, S32 code configuration. Okay, there are particularly these seven different kind of tools via which we can configure full controller. Okay, all the features, all the peripherals and all the different kinds of specifications in our microcontroller, in our corresponding microcontroller. So now this video length is almost around 14 to 10, 15 minutes. So in the next video, I am going to continue the second part of the S32. So that's it for now, guys. Like the video and subscribe to the channel and do share it among your friends and press the bell icon to get notified with such videos as and when they are uploaded.